so we're going to have a look at just creating a segment here in the NSXT. A um, couple different ways we can get to the segments themselves. Number one, um, on our home page, we could just click the hyperlink if we want to, um, or we can come over to networking, choose segments. Um, within here, we can add segments, we can add segment profiles. Um, we won't talk about segment profiles today, but some of the segment profiles which come by default with a spoof guard, uh, segment security profile, Mac discovery, and IP discovery. We can build um, different types of segment profiles, but again, um, not for this session here. Um, we're going to focus on just the real basics of how easy it is to add a segment. So we add a segment, we will put our segment name, and we will just stick with the others like we have. We have a logical switch, app, DB, and web. So maybe we will put logical switch, um, whatever, client is a good one here. Now the uplink type, we don't have to connect it to anything. So we could choose none. Um, we could choose a gateway. Um, this will require us to actually set a subnet and an IP address. So here, if we choose the tier zero gateway, we can then choose subnets, add a subnet and enter the IP address. So here, maybe use 172.16.50.1 24, the CIDR format and click add there. And apply so now that's the actual um, you know default gateway if you will of the segment itself for layer three traffic we're going to assign it to the overlay transport zone most segments are going to end up on the overlay transport zone with the exception of anything that needs to be vlan backed again another discussion um, but for this here for a typical nsxt segment where i'm going to do something like stretch networking or micro segmentation typically going to be on my um, overlay network and that's pretty much it for the basics we'll save that and we don't need to actually configure anything else at this point point. Um, and now you can see that we have our client um, it's up we can see some subnet information here and the actual default gateway of that if we wanted to we could go look at it on the actual tier zero gateway as well um, we can now expand this and see some details um, if we did wanted to make configuration changes obviously we could come in here and edit and then go in and you know maybe I need to change the subnet um, or do something maybe with the segment profile right um, but for here we're not going to change anything um, and that's pretty much it so there you have it creating a segment in NSXT and assigning it to a virtual router